this video we're going to create a progress bar in Google Sheets that is both controlled by checkboxes and in addition displays different colors based on the level of progression. So what you see here is the finished product of what we're going to build today. I have various projects in column A and then different stages of each of those projects and in column E we have a progress bar that is driven by these checkboxes so if I were to uncheck these you can see it adjusts accordingly and in addition the color of the progress bar changes based on the level or stage of progress. You can see it gets darker and darker blue as each stage is checked. So the first thing we want to do is add checkboxes next to our projects. So I'm going to select the cells we want checkboxes in, go up to data, data validation, under criteria, I'm going to select checkbox and save. I'll just randomly select a few. So now we want to build our progress bar. We're going to use the sparkline function and the sparkline function has two inputs. The first one is the data we want to create the sparkline off of. In this case, it's going to be this row of columns B through D. And we have a series of checkboxes. Well, checkboxes have two possible values. A value of true if the box is checked, a value of false if it is unchecked. What we want to do is use the COUNTIF function to count the number of true values in this row. So that has two inputs. The first one is the range we want to look at. And then our criteria, which is true values. Now we're back into our sparkline function. And the second argument is where we define the type of chart we want in this cell. And the second argument has to be enclosed in curly brackets. and we just, as I said, define elements and things we want displayed in this chart. Now, the first thing we need to define is the chart type. So we list the word chart type, and that has to be enclosed in double quotes, then a comma, and the type of chart we want. We want a bar chart. So this is the syntax for this second argument. We have list the thing we want to define. In this case, that thing is the chart type and then the type. So those are separated by a comma. After that, when we get to the next element we want to define, we need to separate it with a semicolon. The next thing we want to define is the number of max you know, the highest max value that we can have in our data we're looking at. In this case, we have three stages. So we state the word max, comma, and then the maximum number of values, which is three. Now, since this is a number, it does not need to be enclosed in double quotes. Finally, we have the color we want to define. So we list the word color one, comma, and then the color we want. Now we want different shades of blue, which is going to require a little extra in this argument. For now, what I want to do is just list the word blue. This will make every single value in our progress bar blue regardless of what stage we're in. Just hang with me a sec because we'll get back to the color scale but you can see right now it shows the same color regardless of the levels of 
progression. So what we want to do here in this slot where we have the word blue is insert the switch function and then have different colors listed in that switch function based on the count of trues. But before we do that, we need to get color code values in Google Sheets um, based on the cell. So if we go to the fill section and under custom select this plus option, I'm going to come down here under hue and shade this to a blue. I'm going to come down here and first select some darker shade of blue. And you can see here is the hex color code value. So I'm going to copy this, click OK, and it will put this shade in that cell I have selected. I'm going to paste in this value and then repeat this step two more times to get different shades of blue. So I'm going to get a medium shade of blue this time. Select the code for that color. And then get a really light shade of blue. So we have our coatings for the different colors. And back in our sparkline function where we had just the word blue, we're going to insert the switch function. And this just looks at an expression and list possible outcomes or matches for that expression and returns a value that you specify based on the first match it finds. So what is our expression we want to look at? Well, it's this count if function again that produces a count of one, two, or three true values. So if the outcome of the, that count is three, what we want to do is then use this first darker shade of color, this code that's in cell F three and I want to lock down this cell because I always want to point to this cell so our next scenario is a count of two if we have a count of two we want to look at cell F4 if we have a count of one we want to look at F5 now on the rows where we have no checkboxes selected we just simply want to define a default value there's not going to be a progress bar so it really doesn't matter what color we put there so I'm just going to put that lighter shade of blue or the lightest and this just avoids NA messages now one important thing is we need to end parentheses for this switch function so we need to add that here and get rid of this outer parentheses because this one outer parentheses goes with the sparkline opening parentheses so I'm gonna hit enter I'm gonna drag this down and you can see now we have our color scale progress bar that adjusts both the bar length and color based on the level of progression. So that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.